everyone, wanted to share with you a project for Carla001. Here I altered a Ultimate Organizer, which I purchased from Michaels. Let me share with you what it looked like before. It's by Studio 18, and it comes in all these different designs. And what I really loved about it was the gatefold opening. So it opens up like this. On the left side, you got an address book. In the center, there's a weekly calendar. And then on the right, there's a to-do list. This is perfect for your home office, um, for you know your scrap room, or you know even your work office. So let me share with you what I did to mine. I basically painted the outside and the inside with the white vintage acrylic paint. Then I distressed it with the frayed burlap. I covered both the front as well as the back with the authentic uncommon paper collection that I got from R. And then on the sides here, I add the Carla's black medium flower trim. So I add it to both of the sides right here. Super pretty. And then here I add the Nancy pink rose trim. And then on the bottom here I add some these cute wooden gates that you can get at Joann's. It comes in a pack of three. I basically just painted it with the white acrylic paint, then distressed it with a frayed burlap. It fit perfectly onto both the covers. Then down here, I titled it The Good Life. I took one of the glitter stickers from the flea market color box collection and then just adhered it to some medium weight chipboard. And then I distressed the edges um, and then distressed it also with the frayed burlap. Here I have some of the white Juliana Porcelain Shabby Chic Flowers, so I added three. And then this bird die cut, again, is also from the Flea Market Collection. If you can see here on the roses on the design paper, I basically covered it with the Crackle Accents by Ranger. Then I went over it with my new favorite, which is Joanne's Essential Glitter. Love this stuff. This is really pretty on design paper as well as on flowers and I just love the way it looks it just sparkles really nice and then on the corner here I have a Iron Roses flower which I sprayed with the Lindy Stamp Gang scintillating silver and then I have these really beautiful um, pink flowers here and it's really nice because it has an organza leaf underneath which is really beautiful so I add one here and then one right here and then on this side, I add this beautiful flower, which was from a trim that I got from Dale. And then I add a center here. Again, um, this was a really fun to add. This is one of um, the centers that Juliana created. And I'm just, I love it. It's just really beautiful. And then these are, again, some more Iron Roses flowers that I sprayed with a scintillating silver. Here's a Carla's Small Black Butterfly. And then these are her gorgeous sprays. This is the pearl spray, and then this is the black spray. So I just mix the two together. So that's how I decorated the outside. And then when you open it up, the inside, I basically, um, when I took the address book out, well, I first, as you can see, I painted the inside as well. And then I took it out, and then I covered it with also the design paper. And then on the book, I covered it with the design paper and then I add this piece right here. Um, this is was actually a die cut from the flea market collection. I just covered it with some more of the design paper from the Uncommon collection. And then this is, as you can see, it's the address book. And it just slides back inside here. This was really fun to alter. And then this one right here, again, I had to take it out, and then I add the design paper to this too as well, because this is where the organizer slides into. It's really fun. And then on this side, which was the to-do list, I covered it with a um, glitter sticker from the Flea Market collection, and then I also added design paper underneath here. And then you can see right here on the sides right here, I add a strip of the design paper. And then it just, oh, and then on top right here, my favorite, which is the white flower trim. So I add that on the top. And so it closes like that. So I can leave it flat 
or I could stand it up. And what I love when I stand it up, I could see my favorite trim. So it was just really fun to alter. Um, let me show you too some other pieces that you can add to this organizer that I found in the same section. So let me open it up here. Let me just put this right here. So basically I found this. So once this is all used up, you can buy some more to add on to it. So this one has a to do this week section and then it has a note section. And as you can see, it fits really nicely there. I also got this 2012 calendar that I could put in there as well once that's completed. And again, you can see it fits. And then I bought these two also. I can replace, once this is done, I can replace it with this, which is, you know, it's a little bit smaller, but, you know, it fits really nicely into here too. So those are other things that you can add to this organizer as well. And you can get all these beautiful trims and embellishments from Carla's 001's Etsy. And I'll have her link and all the information down below. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye.